world today is Sir Sandor. I'm not a knight. I'm a spit of man and the vows. My brother's a knight. How do you think he wrote? Yeah. You know what could withstand? <laughs> You're like one of these pretty little birds from the Summer Isles, aren't you? Pretty little bird reciting all these pretty little things you've been taught to sing. Yeah, when you go to my room, no? No one could withstand him. <laughs> well, that boy certainly couldn't, did he? He had no business being out there. No money, no squire. His helmet didn't even fit. Do you think my brother didn't see that pretty little thing? You think Sir Gregor's lance found its way under the boy's chin all by itself? Gregor's lance goes where Gregor's lance goes. Look at me! Look at me! That's pretty for you, isn't it? Take a good long stare. I've noticed you staring away from me ever since we started the King's Road. Oh, spit in that, you look at me. You got anything pretty to say? Hmm? How do you think it happened? Battle and torch in my face and burning tower. Oh, a dragon's, dragon's breath, eh? <laughs> I'll tell you how it happened. I was younger than you, I was six years old. There was a wood carver below the keep of my father. We were given a couple of wooden toys. I don't know what I got. I was more interested in Gregor's. It was a wooden knight, every joint beautifully made, all painted with strings that could move. Well, my brother was six foot tall at that time. He was already a squire. He had no use for it, so I took it. Well, he found me by the fire at night. He didn't say a word. He picked me under his arm and stuffed me in the coals as I screamed. My father said that my bed had been set on fire. And four years later, <laughs> he was knighted. He was no true knight. <laughs> no pretty bird. He was no true knight.